Today, guys, I will be showing you how to get a working Bifron bypass, a new cheat engine executor method. In this video, enjoy. So, first, you want to go to the oh, first link in the description, download the zip file from Mediafire. And then extract it to wherever. I recommend extracting it to your desktop for ease of use. Once you've extracted it, open up the folder and you should see this. So first you want to run FPS unlock and it says need this for the bypass. Of course I already have it running since I've tested this prior to recording to make sure it worked. But now that you've got it running, you want to go to Roblox FPS Unlocker. It might be a little hard to see, depending on what theme you use on Windows. But if you hover over it, it should say Roblox FPS Unlocker. You want to left-click on it, go to FPS Cap, and hit None. This is what has worked the best for me in the past, so set your FPS Cap to None. So now you want to load up the Microsoft Store version of Roblox. And I'm just going to mini-window it since it works better for me. And also, I've heard another way to stop it from crashing is turning down your graphics quality. Which is what I'm going to do in this video as well. So, now... Go to the teleporter link in the description. Of course, this is a cheat engine based exploit. So you can use any teleporter you want. I just recommend using mine. But anyways, I'm going to just join prison life. Since it is the best game for testing exploits. And now you want to open up toolless.exe, which is the cheat engine version itself. As you can see, Credits to Infernus for sending me the unpatcher and helping me unpatch this cheat engine exploit. So now you want to go to process list, click Windows 10 Universal.exe. This only works on Microsoft Store Edition, so all the only one you should see is Windows 10 Universal.exe. Now click open. Now what you want to do is press inject and not move your mouse at all while it's injecting. This is an important process. Okay, once it's injected, you can move your mouse. Now you need to reset your avatar to get the UI. And there we go, I got the UI. Enjoy exploiting.